Good morning and assalamu alaikum. This is Tumaya Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. Uh, we are so excited and so honored to be bringing you another day of inspiration. I um, want to share with you something that I recently uh, saw, and that is a graph, and it says, what would you do during COVID-19? And we all are going through that now. We talked about um, different aspects. There is the fear factor, where we are so fearful about what's going on. We go out and buy all the toilet paper. I don't know why we do that, but we buy all the toilet paper there is out there and we are panicking, we're sending messages of panicking, of fear to everybody around us. And hopefully uh, we don't stay that in that uh, state very long. And we move on to another state, uh, which is personal growth. And um, in that we are looking forward to helping people and to being there, asking about people, um, being a, a source of positive energy and bringing people out of their fear uh, state to a better state. So hope that we all, all, all uh, get into the growth factor and stay out of the fear factor. And one of the reasons why we're doing the inspirations is to help all of us, including myself, to get out of the fear state. Uh, to help us do that this morning is our own beloved Imam Mansour Sabri. Imam Mansour leads an amazing organization here in Atlanta. It's called Iman. And um, for Iman, they help people re-enter our society. Uh, and it's called a green re-entry program. And uh, we were just chatting with Imam Mansour about the amazing stuff they're doing right now with their population that they serve. Imam Mansour, we're so honored and blessed to have you with us this morning. Thank you so much, Samaya. And blessings, peace and blessings, greetings of peace. Assalamu alaikum to uh, the community that's here this morning. Um, really in a moment of acknowledging the presence of God, acknowledging our blessing of life. Um, I want to open with a prayer that we ask God and we ask Allah for the good of this day, its opportunities, its successes. We ask him for the light of this day, the blessings of this day and right guidance. I mean, in my short reflection, I'm here outdoors really to um, take in the moment of beauty that God has created around us, within us. And in this challenging time of, of dealing with a crisis of COVID-19, we've been pushed into a space to be still and to be in a, in a, in a moment of pause. And um, my own personal experience is that this has been uh, a blessing in disguise for acknowledging who we are and where we are in God's creation as servants of God. And I've also acknowledged it is difficult and it's not something that, that we do on a regular, that it's something that may feel new to so many to just be still and to be in a moment of, of, of contemplation. But in our tradition, in the tradition of Islam and, and following and looking into the Example of Muhammad the Prophet, alayhi salatu wa salam, and God's peace and blessings be upon all of the prophets who give us guidance in moments of trial and difficulty to reflect upon. I want to share um, a prayer, a dua that the Prophet would say in the morning. And it's a beautiful reminder of just being still and being present before God. And the prophet would say when he would come out of his home in the morning, he would say, he would come out and he would look into the sky and he would say, in the name of God, I place my trust in God and there is no might nor power except with God. Oh God, I take refuge in you from the least of things that I should stray or be led astray. I take refuge in you from slipping or being led in the wrong direction. O oh God, I seek refuge in you from oppression or being the oppressed. O oh God, I seek refuge in you from foolishness or being of those who are treating people with foolish, treating people foolishly. And this message and this idea of calling on the life you wanna to have today, calling on the direction you want to, to lead and be guided in, is a prophetic model of self-actualization, of realizing how you wanna see your life in this moment, calling upon the creator of the heavens and the earth to give you that guidance, that, that sense of, of direction and hope and aspiration. 
but also acknowledging that there is a wrong direction that you could go and there is a there is a um, a energy that you can put out and a way of life that you can follow that will lead to harm and uncomfort and uh, bad actions. And so, in our own minds and our own consciousness, calling on the best of us, calling on the best in our in our in our minds and in our hearts to be led in this moment and to lead others to show by example. I think that um, that the opportunity presented to us in this day and time is one of true self-development to come to know oneself, to come to know one's relationship with God. And if he is to call us back, if he is to uh, take our lives, that we, he takes our lives in a state where we have become the most conscious of him, the most aware of our, of our, our moment to serve him. And in this small, a short moment, we pray that this is a short moment, of deep self-reflection and and coming to know oneself and being our best uh, uh, character, we learn from this opportunity and serve in new ways the Creator, the Most High. Um, I've I've uh, I've come in contact with with families who are struggling right now, and it makes me think about the blessings that I have my of my own, but it also makes let me think of a moment to dig deeper and see how I can serve and give. Uh, one of those areas that we do in, as an organization, as I close this as a reminder, is that we provide counseling. We provide counseling services to individuals um, who are in need, uh, men, women, who are uh, in circumstances and situations where money is very tight, food is, is, is scarce, and they're living in tight quarters and now everyone's confined to one space. And in this counseling and in this opportunity, we're, we're, we're trying to get people to think differently around the power and the beauty of connectivity, um, not social distancing, but physically being separated to protect ourselves from this, from this virus, but socially striving to uh, connect with each other in ways that lead a more positive environment for, our, for our, our loved ones, for our children, for those who are around us. And knowing that when we show up in a positive mindset of, of glorifying and praising what God has given us in celebration, we'll see that vibration move through our space and our community and our family life. And we'll see that it's contagious. Love is contagious hope is contagious, service is contagious, and that people would take on the mindset and the behavior that we're looking to really feel and, and embody. Uh, and when we step out into the world, as the prophet, God's peace and blessings be upon him, would say, looking into the sky in the name of God, we place our trust in God. And so that's my message for today, um, dear brothers and sisters, is that we put our trust in him, we lead a life that we want to see flourish and populate the earth and, and spread. That's a life of goodness, a life of mercy, a life of compassion. So may God Almighty be with us today. May he give us all of its opportunities, give us all of its successes, its light, its blessings, and its right guidance. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen and all the praises for God and God's peace and blessings be upon you all. Assalamu alaikum. Imam Mansour, thank you so much. That is so beautiful. A great reminder for all of us to develop ourselves and to move into a growth stage and to um, be a positive force in our communities, in our families, and within ourselves as well. And I love what you said about love, love is contagious like fear is, but love will overcome fear. And so our message this morning is please listen to what um, Imam Mansour said and be a force of positiveness in your world, within yourself, within your families, and within your communities. Uh, thank you so much for being with us this morning, and may God's peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum.